Pisces, welcome to your July 1st through the 15th tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi, and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you'll consider subscribing. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings as well as um, meditation, inspiration videos, and um, self-help videos. So let's get started. What's one card? All right. So I see that there's some anxiety, hostilities. You're not healing. The door to personal healing and happiness is closed. And you're suppressing your emotions. Uh, I only wanted one card, but it gave me one, two, three, gave me five. So the first card that came out was the door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse. So this is you not doing what you need to do in order to heal, in order to be happy, in order to get to that beautiful garden, that light at the end of the tunnel, that rainbow, that piece of the, the piece that the dove symbolizes, um, the beautiful garden. You're not doing that. You're not spending time outdoors. You're not um, processing your emotions. So you're closing the door on yourself. I see some severe anxiety here. Some sleepless nights, a lot of worry and angst. It could be it could be over a relationship. There's hostilities. There's battling hostilities. You're not healing. The healer of the ages is reversed. You're putting your own fire out. See the fire in his goblets? You're putting your own fire out. And then I have the goddess of the moon, which is all about emotions. You're, you're letting your emotions take control of you instead of you taking control of your emotions. Um, so three cards for what's currently on Aries in mind, June 1st through the 15th of 2018. So I have a Pisces here, or <laughs> just that Pisces energy of being sentimental, um, fantasizing a lot. But this is the hanged man in the reverse. It's a major life event. Uh, the hanged man in the reverse is being obsessed with something you're hanging on. You won't let go. There's selfishness, there's hidden motives, there's greed here. All right, it could be over a Sagittarius. There's temperance here. Um, but temperance means calm after the storm, rebalancing. There's a glimpse of your spiritual purpose. There could be traveling, learning, teaching, a wise counselor. Um, perfect timing, light at the end of the tunnel, peace, tranquility. There's healing emotions with temperance, um, understanding, having inner peace, a mature relationship, but you're still obsessed with something from the past. So you have this balancing of emotions, and as you can see, as you can see, um, Pisces is ending up with the water of, on, in temperance's cup, and you're the fire in temperance's cup. So there's this balance of emotions and ambition, emotions and um, passion. What else is going on in Aries' mind? What else is going on in Aries' mind? One more card. One more card. All right, so I have the Three of Pentacles in the upright. So this is the card of Capricorn. This is teamwork, gaining qualifications, building. All right, what's going on in Aries family and home life? Three cards for Aries family and home life. Okay, I have traditional values with the hair font. This is Taurus energy. This is very, um, I have energy. It's very predictable, domestic, steady, thorough, um, 
patient. This is people that you can count on. This doesn't take risks. It hates change. It's very practical, grounded energy. It's tradition, legacy, religion, education, giving your power away, blindly following, surrendering your free will, believing whatever you're told, uh, being a role model. There's a rite of passage here, initiation of sorts. Um, knowledge, guidance, do, doing what everyone expects you to, being stuck in the past, afraid to rock the boat. What else is going on in Aries family and home life? Two more cards for Aries family and home life. Two more cards for Aries family and home life. Okay, I have the lovers. So this is self-love. This is just a relationship in general. This is Gemini. This is the card of Gemini. This is the magic of falling in love. There's um, attraction, sexual development, uh, sexual attraction, attraction um, decisions, examining both sides quality of communication, being open, honest, safe to move forward. This could be someone's interested in you romantically as well. What else is going on in Aries family and home life? And there's a progression. The hair font is number five. The lovers is number six. So there's a progression of sorts in your home life. Uh, fives are all about conflict and instability, and six is about growth, problem solving, cooperation, balance, harmony, love, care, comfort. Great. And let me take two cards. So I have the six of wands, so there's a victory here. Um, this is the card of Leo. There's success, victory, you're the winner here. Strong leadership skills, um, receiving awards, being recognized. You should be proud of yourself. Leading while others follow, there's pride, great news altogether. Um, being entertaining, being cheerful, being dramatic, theatrical. And it looks like it's from the past. So something traditional that happened in the past, something that could have been around education or religion, um, a romantic partnership, a marriage from the past, you're being recognized for. People are saying, job well done, congratulations, you did it. And then I have the star reverse. Uh, so this is Aquarius. This is the card of Aquarius. Uh, there's a loss in faith here. There's fearing tomorrow, lacking hope, afraid of what people will think, creative gifts hidden or denied. There's a need for a vacation, a holiday. There's a loss of innocence here. You've never really met your soulmate with this card. There's loneliness and there's no imagination. And again, that's the card of Aquarius. And it is like, there's temperance here up above. And she has her two, her two pitchers and she's pouring her emotions from one into the other, from the fire into the cool water. Um, and then here we have the emotions being poured out into the sea, but it, it mirrors very nicely. And this is a progression too. Uh, Temperance is 14 and then Aquarius is, or uh, the star, the star is 17. You see that balance between fire and water there? How Temperance has that red dress, that Sagittarius, that outgoing, optimistic, risk-taking, and then we have the cool Aquarius underneath. The, the emotions.
what uh, three cards for Aries romantic and social life please three cards for Aries romantic and social life it, it's so funny in your head you still have that fire energy but what's really going on is just just an emotion just all these emotions so the Queen of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Alright, so this is the card of Cancer. Um, this is developing your psychic abilities, opening up your heart to love, being the peacemaker, the diplomat, being highly artistic, imaginative, creative, totally absorbed with your creation in a relationship. This is a loyal, loving, devoted partner with strong family values. Um, she's very emotional, loving, happy, sensitive, caring, a healer. She's beautiful. Um, she follows her heart. She goes with the flow. And again, this is cancer energy. It is, it's a very emotional energy. And she's looking towards the future. And she's looking, she's looking at the page of wands. So the page of wands, and look, he's like this immature fire child, and you're Aries, you're a fire sign. Um, so here, here's the page of wands, and he's all happy, he's all go lucky. It could be any fire sign, this is Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, and he's like, hi, and he's just, so he's ornery. He's really ornery, um, but he's full of marvelous and novel ideas. He's a free spirit. He puts plans into actions. He travels. He explores new places. He's all about ambition. He has burning potential within him. He's confident, successful. Um, he's intelligent. He's brilliant, actually. Uh, he's optimistic. He tries anything once. He leaps before looking a lot. So he gets himself into trouble um, quite a bit. He, um, he, is the, he thinks, I can and I will. He thinks yes, he thinks big, he stays positive, he, he does something, he uses confidence. Um, he'll sweep you off your feet in a relationship, um, turn your world upside down. He's fiery and he has an explosive temper. He throws a lot of tantrums. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles are decisions about um, two people, deciding between two people. So I see that you have multiple options. And it could be, be between a Cancer and any type of fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, I see. Or even a Capricorn. Um, I see you juggling between two options. Uh, three cards to help Aries decide between the two options. Three cards to help Aries decide between the two options, please. Okay, so I have Cancer, and it's in the reverse. So this is a loss of control, a lack of discipline, loss of direction. There's emotional outbursts here letting go. There could be car problems, wearing a mask to hide emotions, um, relationships stuck in a rut. Yeah, and that's that's definitely cancer energy. So that's um, anything between June 21st and July 22nd. Um, cancers can be very manipulative, moody, emotional, fussy. Um, family oriented, all about memories and nostalgia. Two more cards to help Aries. Right, so I have the Nine of Cups. This is going out, partying, drinking. It's also um, wishes fulfilled. 
so it's the wish card, whatever you wish. If you have full emotional abundance, again, that is um, water energy, but that's specifically Pisces. The Ace of Pentacles, there's potential for success here. There's abundance, prosperity, um, all about the future, planning for the future. I have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is greed, materialism, self-protection, that's Capricorn energy. And then I have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. So that's results from hard work, driving ambition, success, enjoy, free to enjoy a lavish lifestyle, um, being in a position to afford anything that you want, status, public recognition, elegance, grace, uh, maturity, and that's Virgo energy. It's I think, or I analyze. It's very critical energy, very nitpicky. Um, analyzes everything, fault finding, fussy. So it looks like money. <laughs> money is a big issue when it comes to deciding which partner to choose from. You want you want them all. You want to have it all, and you have that ability. You have the wish card here. It it's complete abundance. There's a lack of self-discipline here. There could be alcoholism or drug abuse. There's the ability to manifest whatever you want though. But that could be holding you back, this, uh, this over-partying, over-socializing. All right, three cards. For Aries social or, uh, finances, three cards for Aries finances. Three cards for Aries finances. It's going to take four. I have strength reverse, which is Leo energy, which is fire energy, and this is showing fear, um, loss of control, being overwhelmed, depressed, hopeless. Um, Cats out of the bag. <laughs> the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Uh, so this is a broken home or marriage, misalignment of values. Two of Swords reversed. Confusion, information overload, indecision. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So your money's not doing very good. Um, this is being money mad, out of date, self-centered, uh, envy, jealousy, being like a fortune hunter, possessive, a social climber, neglectful, um, overindulgent. This is poverty, prostitution. So financially, you're doing horrible. The Two of Swords has two decisions. What are these two decisions? So the first decision is the Five of Cups in the reverse. Um, so this is moving on, accepting things as they are. And the other one is the Five of Swords. So this is conflict, tension, betrayal, win at all costs, criminal violence, smugness, bloating. Um, there's a major loss here. You're refusing to listen to your intuition. You're acting irresponsibly. You're bragging too much. With the judgment reversed. All 
Okay, three cards for Aries career. Three cards for Aries career. Three exactly, no four. Five. More. All right, remember I'm using two decks and one card did come out again. All right, so I have the Emperor reverse. There could be some narcissism here um, in terms of your career. This is the card of narcissism. Well, one of them is the uh, Emperor reverse, the Knight of Wands reverse, the Knight of Cups reverse, the King of Cups reverse, and the King of Wands reversed. So when the Emperor reverses, there's anger issues. There's irresponsibility, impatience, not taking responsibility, being selfish, greedy, unhelpful, preying on the misery of others, leaves when you need them the most. Um, this is a villain, a thug. This is abandonment. This could be you're still living at home with parents. There's a sense of entitlement here, living off the stage, lacking skills, lack of ambition. Um, not cut out for the job that you're in, having power trips, being like a bride villa, um, out of control, this is crime, uh, defeat, enemy, betrayal, not heeding advice, a hard task manager. Then I have the high priest reverse, which is the same as the Hierophant. Uh, so this is Taurus energy, this is breaking rules, rejecting orthodox ways, thinking for yourself, living by your own rules, uh, changing religions, a new belief system, unconventional relationships, dropping out of school, quitting your job, being extremely judgmental and hypocritical. I have the lovers reversed, with, which is um, the card of Gemini. And this is infidelity, communication breaking down, there's divorce, separation, possessiveness, low self-esteem, um, not the right time to move forward. These are all major life events. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's all in an order. So these are major life events in your career happening in order and all in the reverse. All of them are in the reverse. So I have the chariot in reverse. Uh, so again, this is loss of control, lack of self-discipline, lack of direction, emotional outburst, which goes really good with the emperor in reverse. So there's a lot of like temper tantrums, emotional outbursts, feeling like you're better than everybody else, um, bragging, boasting, um, being unhelpful, being selfish. And then I have strength in the reverse. So this is showing fear, loss of control, being overwhelmed, being depressed, hopeless, lack of courage, secrets are revealed, cats out of the bag, overinflated ego, um, trying to control by force. I'm seeing this more as an overinflated ego because that goes with the theme of all of these cards. There's an overinflated ego. There's narcissism within your career. There's being just like Bridezilla, like just making everyone else miserable. <laughs> there's, there's making everyone else miserable. Well, Aries, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings. Thank you again. Have a great day.